Hey, wealth creation investing traders and investors, Matt Buckley, the chief investment strategist here at WCI. And it, it seems like I'm a broken record, but what an awesome week. Just what an incredible week uh, in the markets. And, and like I said before, if, if you don't feel like it's been awesome or incredible and, and your, your head hurts a little bit, you're probably trading and investing wrong, which is why WCI uh, exists. What happened this week? Well, we saw those, you know, two rip roar and take your face off. Uh, corrections followed by a rip your face off rally and a little bit of a follow through today. Well, mainly folks, that's uh, this. I, I, I am selling the hell out of every one of these rallies. I mean, this rally that uh, that we're seeing was was caused the other day by uh, the ECB president Draghi uh, saying he's going to do whatever it takes, quote unquote, uh, to save the euro. That's within his mandate. Uh, so, folks, that's. That's news. That's like Bernanke saying he's going to do his job. My job is to protect the, you know, the soundness of the U.S. financial system. So the guy said he's going to do his job and the market rallies. Not to be believed, folks. So actions speak louder than words. Those words are great and nice and, you know, it really kind of gave the market a, uh, a boost there. But it's, it's, it doesn't mean anything uh, in my uh, humble opinion. So... Here's what uh, I'm looking at here. Spain. Spain is going to need a sovereign bailout, period. Not their banks. I'm talking about the, co uh, the country. So the country bails out the banks. The country's broke. The country needs a bailout. So they're going to need a, a, a sovereign bailout, folks. I mean, their, their borrowing costs soared as high as about 7.22%, which is physically impossible to sus uh, sustain. Now, com compare that to the German Bund at about 1.17%. Uh, percent. So folks, that Spain's job, they must shrink their GDP to 2.8% uh, of uh, all their spending by 2014 from 8.9% where they are right now. And just to give you a little bit of a head, heads up, you know, I, I love Spain and everything like that, but let's, let's look at our own clown car. 7% uh, our, our nation is in 7% of our G, uh, GDP. We're in debt, 7%. Imagine if we had to be, uh, if we were being forced to reduce that to 2.8% of our GDP, talk about Medicare and Medicaid, the post office, and a bunch of other train wrecks getting uh, cut, um, you'd be seeing riots in the street like uh, you do in Greece and Spain. So it's not going to happen, and it's not going to work. Uh, Greece, I'm putting a 90 percent uh, 90 probability that they're going to exit the, uh, the Eurozone. So who's next? Italy, folks. Um, so they're they're already uh, popping up on the uh, on the radar uh, radar here. So yeah, Eurozone uh, Val list of streets. Who cares? The the the, the place is going to implode. I mean, Spain had to ban short selling for three months, and then Italy banned short selling for a week. How'd that work out for us in the United States uh, when when we did that in 2008? Oh, you can't sell short for the next in these names and financials for the next week. Okay. So that just built up, you know, uh, the psycho de selling demand. So when you could, people sold the hell out of it. it it's just, it, it, it makes no sense. Couple that, folks, with what's going on in Syria. Bandar Assad admitting he's got chemical weapons. And for all you Bush haters, guess where he got them? Uh, let's just say 18 tractor trailers left a week before we said we were going to attack Saddam. I'm, I'm glad we're such a nice country that we give people a week's heads up that we're coming if you don't leave. Um, 18 tractor trailers left suspected WMD facilities in Iraq and ended up in Syria. And here's Assad coming out publicly saying, oh, and by the way, we have chemical weapons when they didn't before. So take that, Bush haters. He was right. Um, uh, Israel and Iran. <clears throat> it's going to happen. You guys know me. It's not a matter of if but when. Israel's going to attack Iran, and it's probably going to be after the elections because of the drug deal. Uh, Netanyahu made with Obama. In the U.S., earnings sucked. Facebook sucked. Apple, Apple, who tends to underpromise or, or uh, uh, yeah, underpromise and, and overdeliver, underpromised and underdelivered. They missed on the top and the bottom, and they took it in the shorts. And if you missed our uh, live trade session yesterday, we put a great trade on that's going to take advantage of this. And we just closed out a weekly trade. Uh, today for 1600 bucks, made 1600 bucks in about three days in the model portfolio uh, on Apple. So having a blast trading this uh, this earnings season. So the market was also rallying on bad news earlier in the week that 
hey, it's horrible news, so the Fed's going to have to act with QE3, right? Or Operation Twist 5 or, or whatever the, the heck uh, we want to call it, folks. Um, but it's like, the, it's like the anthrax. You know, we've been inoculated so many times with the anthrax vaccine that we're, it's, it, it doesn't do any good. With each dose, it doesn't matter. I mean, the 30-year mortgage is under 4%. Who cares? what the Fed does. If they lower interest rates even further, it doesn't matter because it's not getting to the people who need it the most. The people with poor credit, lost their jobs, uh, underwater on their house, have health issues. If you do not have sterling credit, and even if you have sterling credit, it's the trials of Hercules to try and get a loan to do something. So it, it, these earnings sucked. Next quarter's earnings are going to suck even more. Um, just like Apple said, uh, and it's going to be interesting, folks. And then what do we have in Q4 in the fall? The fiscal cliff. The question isn't if we're going to go over the fiscal cliff. It's going to be how far we're going to fall and, and what it's going to feel like, you know, to be Wiley Coyote and hit the bottom of the canyon. It's going to be bad, folks. Um, and again, I, you know, people, if you're in my live trading sessions, you know I'm not, I, I'm usually an upbeat guy, or I, I am an upbeat guy, and I'm upbeat even with all this bad news. Why? Because you don't fight the tape. You trade the hell out of the tape and you make money. Let me show you our, uh, our wealth creation. I, 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 got a, I didn't update it before I jumped on real quick. But wealth creation with options model portfolio I've been managing for a month. Uh, and it's up $7,000. About 35% return on the, the haircut we're using. Seven grand in a month, folks. In one of the toughest months uh, uh, you know, the market's seen. You know? So let, let, let me just show you some performance here. Um, I, this is a different model portfolio from one of our sister services. Um, and let's take a look at the date range. I took over this model portfolio on, uh, on March 1st through today. Let's see how we're doing. And this is on about 50 to $45,000, uh, in haircut. So from March 1st to January, uh, January to, uh, July uh, 27th survey said, Trade Monster's taken a little bit in my uh, paper trading uh, platform to uh, to come up here. Forty thousand dollars in five months, and like I said, that's on about forty-seven, fifty thousand dollars worth of haircut. Not even using the full capital in our model portfolio. That's some serious performance. Okay, so that's a eighty-ish, ninety-ish percent return. And let's take a look at May. Anybody remember May? May was the worst month in the market in two years. Yep. Worst month in the market in two years. How'd we do in our uh, model portfolios? Nearly $16,000 return, or I think it was about 32% uh, at the time. It was north of 30% uh, return on how much capital we were using. So nearly $16,000 in profits in one of the worst months in the market uh, in two years. So folks, don't trade this market solo. I'm telling you, I've been a retail trader. I've been out there. I've been in your combat trading boots, and it sucks. You boot up the computer. You don't, what am I doing today? I have no clue. Well, that's mainly because you're not thinking like a strategic trader. You're not taking a look at those world events that I started by talking about. You're not taking a look at the operational events in the United States. You're going straight to the tactic, what is the trade, and that doesn't work. There we go. Nearly uh, sixteen thousand dollars. Like I said, over thirty percent return in one of the worst months in two years in the markets. Okay, so folks, we're having an absolute blast here at Wealth Creation Investing, trading this market, whether it's futures, forex, options, uh, commodities, or, or, or straight equities. I manage the Wealth Creation uh, with Options model portfolio, and like I said, we're up seven grand in a month. That's thirty-five percent return in a month where people, where other services are sending out apology emails, and I guarantee you, some of you are probably in some of those services. So, if you're not enjoying uh, getting apology emails, this is what uh, I need you to do. I need you to go to wealthcreationinvesting.com/sundayoptions, and what you can do is you can get on board. And Sunday Options is it's about eight, ten uh, video modules that you can get access to for just. 20 bucks. It's usually a thousand, the, the, the full series. And the reason we call it Sunday Options is because literally as football season comes up and you know, or you're hanging out at the beach Sunday afternoon with your uh, iPad, you can download these MP4s and have enough knowledge learned on a Sunday afternoon to be able to trade options that next week uh, successfully with me. Um, or if you want to trade live with me for the next year, 
uh, for an hour a week every Wednesday afternoon at, at 1 p.m. And, and, and potentially see these type of returns in your model portfolio and your paper trading account, then you get you definitely got to go to uh, to that web page. Okay, so wealth creationinvesting.com slash Sunday options. And this is what we talked about yesterday on our live trading webinar. And I also gave everybody a nice free trade on Apple. That's uh, that's looking quite uh, quite well today, uh, if I do say so myself. So I got to run. I got a lot of trading to do. And uh, great stuff's going on here at WCI, folks. So have a great weekend. And I'll see you Monday with our uh, Monday Market Outlook. We'll see you.